Hey guys, and welcome back to the card review series. Yeah, you know the one I was supposed to do yesterday? Then I fucked up. <laughs> yeah, I was just sitting there and I was like, wait a minute. I was, thinking, I was trying to think, I was like, okay, today is Thursday, so I gotta do Fake Card Friday. Wait a minute, I already did Fake Card. Why the hell did I upload Fake Card Friday? And none of you guys said, I think one person commented and said them. The rest of you guys just went along with it. Like, yeah, Fake Card Friday on Thursday. Thanks. It's all... Freaking Stanzi's fault. It, it literally is. Because Stanzi's like, oh, oh, do you want to record early? You want to go ahead and record uh, for uh, Striving with Stanzi? So I'm like, oh, yeah, sure. I'll go ahead and do it. So then I got into that mentality that I was recording for, you know, Striving Stanzi, which is on Friday. And then, of course, then I got to do Fake Card Friday. And I just got into that Friday mentality, even though it was Wednesday and I needed to be recording for Thursday. So thank you, Stanzi. You're a jerk. Anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and do the card review on Friday, since you already got Fake Card Friday, on Thursday. God. So, because you guys are such jerks, I'm going to give you guys a shitty card to talk about, because this card is shit. So, today we are looking at Inspiration, because it's totally not anything. It's pretty much a troll card made by Konami. Like, this should be on Fake Card Friday, and yet it's a real card. So the artwork is great. That that that's beautiful. Like that looks like it could be like some kind of Spartan or some kind of noble knight card. But nope, it's just a shitty, shitty trap card. So it's a tra normal trap card that reads: target one face-up monster you control. It gains 700 attack until the end of this turn. That's it. Yeah, you you wait, what are you thinking? You're probably like, wait, wait, isn't isn't there a card that does exactly the same thing as that? Re uh, what's it? Rush, rush. Recklessly, right? Yeah, rush Reckless. What? Why did they make this card? It's the same exact. It's literally the same exact effect of Rush Reckless, word for freaking word. Why did they make this card? Rush Reckless was made in 2003. Eleven years later, you make the same exact damn card, except worse. Except worse, because I would rather. Well, there's no. Even if you would run something like this. What is there a reason to run rush run this over rush reckless when they're the exact same thing? Rush reckless I can activate during my turn or during your turn during the damage step. So you know what's the point? Why? So this card can get wiretapped. I think your opponent even wanted to go that far, but it, what's, what what was the point of making this card? Now I know what a lot of people are saying. Oh, it's for seal play of the of the battle pack. It's seal play battle pack. Yeah, that's what it's for. You know what the you know what another retarded retarded thing about this is? Rush reckless. Rush yeah, no, no, that card that that that's the exact same thing. That's in the battle pack. So why? So you can have rush so you can have six six of these cards in your sealed play? Is that is that what what was the point of this? Why? Why? Why waste this beautiful artwork on this shitty ass card that didn't even need to be made? If this card never existed, it would be no skin off of anybody's back. Like, Konami still decided to make it and waste everybody's time. So you're going to go ahead and buy your damn battle pack, open this up, and be like, Why? Why? God, it's such a waste. Such a waste. I'm, I'm so disappointed in Konami on this one. So disappointed. I really thought, you know... Inspiration. The card is called Inspiration. Like, we had an epiphany. This is, you know, we are inspired to do this awesome-ass card. And you just blatantly copy off a card from 11 years ago. Come on, Konami. You know, I don't mind if you go ahead and copy and paste some things off of some cards and put on another. But as long as it's innovative, you know? As long as it brings something new to the table. What does this card existing do anything for? And you know what? There's cards that are even better than Rush Reckless. And that's the fun. There's cards that are even better. That they kind of went and then took a step forward. You could have been like, you gain 700 attack and you can attack your opponent directly. Or you gain 700 attack and you get pierced. Or you gain 700 attack and you, when you destroy a monster, you draw a card. They could have done so much more with this card. But they just decided just to make it a goddamn Rush Reckless. So disappointing. So... Tell me what you guys think about your disappointment in Konami in the comment section below. So, uh, you know, I fucked up. Konami fucked up. <laughs> so, thank you for watching this, uh, fill card review. I'll be sure to have the next episode on Tuesday. Not Monday. Not Wednesday. Tuesday. Just like it's supposed to be. Tuesdays and Thursdays. 
Oh my god, I'm terrible. So thanks for watching, thanks for supporting me, and I will see you guys in the next car review. Thanks for watching.